We are now facing three major challenges, climate change, COVID-19, and weapons of mass destruction. Climate change is somewhat detached from the, the pandemic and uh, weapons of mass destruction. But it's a really fascinating idea uh, to conjugate the spread of pandemic with nuclear weapons issues. And nobody has thought about that kind of nexus between the two compelling challenges. The thing that I love about scenario planning is that it empowers people to stretch their thinking. It's easier to think about one of the issues happening. Okay, so we've got a pandemic. How are we going to respond to a pandemic? But to then add in a climate change event and to add in the nuclear issues as well, it was hard for people to, to consider a world where all three were active at once. And that's the power of this kind of scenario planning work. Uh, actually, this is not my first time to join uh, such kind of a scenario uh, program, uh, which means you have some professional to offer the participants certain scenario. Scenario means they are not real, but they could be real at any future time. And let, let's pay attention to them. But this time, scenario is totally different. It's so timely, it's so crucial that everyone needs to be, pay great attention to it. Scenarios planning is a process whereby one tries to imagine the future, knowing that the future is highly uncertain as it is at the moment. And by exploring these imagined futures, one and tries to generate robust strategies for shaping the future rather than just allowing it to happen by default. So we set out in the Pandemic Nuclear Nexus project to try to answer a key question. What are the opportunities driven by global pandemics for Northeast Asian governments, civil society and market actors to reduce nuclear risk and resume nuclear disarmament? This process of trying to imagine our world's highly uncertain future in a group felt at times cathartic, as we described and expressed our anxieties over multiple existential threats, the pandemic, nuclear vol volatility, and the climate crisis. One recurring question was how we might engage younger generations in the new nuclear disarmament movement in the same way that school-age students have been able to spearhead, spearhead the climate change movement. In both issues of climate and nuclear threat, much of the world are potential stakeholders, but only a small proportion are mobilized. Greater collaboration is needed to overcome existential risks such as nuclear weapons, COVID-19, and future pandemics, and climate change. The 75th anniversary Nagasaki Pandemic Nuclear Nexus Scenarios Project and the report has identified steps to realize a nuclear-free world before 100th uh, anniversary of the atomic bombing. When Shibakusha voices will finally fade away, let's act now while our voices can still be heard. Thank you.